Wake Up Ireland. My name is Jack. And I'm Kipton. Good morning. Today is Friday, October 8th, 2021. Jack, do you plan to celebrate National Fluffer Nutter Day? I'm sorry, what did you say? Fluffer Nutter Day. I can't celebrate something when I don't know what it is. Fluffer Nutter is a sandwich with peanut butter and instead of jelly, marshmallow fluff. Well, I like peanut butter, I like marshmallows, but if you put them together, I don't know if I would like that taste. I think it sounds good. <laughs> so, let's move on to birthdays. There isn't anyone celebrating a birthday today, but we do have three students with a birthday this weekend. Tomorrow, Camden Rashi and Harrison Williams have their birthday. And on Sunday, Elise Gress has her birthday. We hope you have a great birthday, you three. And now, what's cooking? Monday for breakfast is assorted muffins, fruit, juice, and milk. Today for lunch is grilled cheese, yogurt, green beans, fruit and veggie bar, and milk. Sorry, no fluff or nutter sandwich on the menu. Maybe you can have it for dinner tonight. And now it's time for Fun Fact Friday. This is just nuts. Did you know that in the early 1900s, so just a little over 100 years ago, Parents could mail their kids to their grandparents' houses? When the post service started allowing larger packages to be sent in the mail, a few parents took advantage of the cheap prices. That's right. One couple in Ohio mailed their eight-month son to his grandparents' house, which was just a few miles away for 15 cents. But don't worry. They insured him for 50 bucks. Crazy, right? Another couple mailed their four-year-old daughter from their house in Idaho to their grandparents' house by train 30, 73 miles away. It was cheaper to mail her as postage than to buy her a train ticket. There's even a children's book about this little girl called Mailing May. There were just a few cases of kids being mailed in the mail, and by 19... 13, the Postal Service put an end to it, stating people could not be mailed. Well, now you know. Let's end this week with a smile. Check out this hilarious bird dancing to some music. Yeah, yeah, I said yeah, 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 do a whole of that's true. Oh, baby, it's just you I'm thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave you with that laugh, Ireland. Where'd you go? Where did you go? I think we need to see the nurse. We hope you enjoyed your weekend as much as those birds seem to be enjoying that music. Be kind to one another. Bye. Bye.